Okay, so um, I often share the tool, feel the feelings and let go of the thoughts and just be with the feelings without any identification with thoughts, which was inspired by Hawkins' work, uh, Dr. David R. Hawkins. Uh, a lot of his stuff is available on Audible, if people are interested. Um, I suppose the, what would be the recording? Something like Pain. He's got an office series on Audible. I, I recommend that to people. Okay, so uh, something that really helped me in my early years was the idea that feelings don't go on forever. There's like a, it's like a bank. It's a bit like this, I'd say. It's like I've got a, as a person, or I was an addict, extreme, uh, extremely addicted to everything. But, um, you know, I've got, I had a reservoir, then I understood, like I had a reservoir of repressed um repressed fear repressed guilt uh repressed shame uh, and so forth and uh that happened because i was you know I, I'm, I'm as a human i'm employing addictive mechanisms to repress my feelings like rather than allow feelings i'll watch tv rather than allow feelings i'll eat a donut rather than allow feelings i'll call somebody and speak to them to distract or rather than allow feelings just to be released in thin air immediately I'll be in my head, you know, or even even worse, in my head, trying to repress the feelings and push them back down again. So the, the amount of um, capacity for repressing feelings, because I'm addicted to my thoughts and other uh, more addictive, like alcohol, drugs, all kinds of the relationships. So codependency, uh, all of this stuff. So there's just a machine to repress feelings nonstop as a human. Um, and so... If I'm starting the spiritual journey and I stop ident identifying with thoughts and start doing spiritual work, then it's going to open up the door. But the thing with uh, re uh, repressed feelings that I learned from Hawkins, which is true, is that they're finite. I've only got like, for example, I might have had only 300 hours of repressed fear if I could stop use using on my thoughts and uh, using on donuts and using on addictions and things. I probably just have to allow those 300 hours of repressed fear to release and that's gone forever and maybe another 300 hours of shame and another 300 hours of um of apathy or whatever it is and each illness has probably so much so many hours of repressed you know pain or whatever it is or or what type of feeling it is which is not doesn't that's not really true it's just that's actually a belief that it, it is that but anyway so once I heard that, that was great. I thought, okay, well, I want to, I want to just when feelings arise, I don't want to, I don't want to put the TV on. I don't want to eat a donut. I don't want to be in my thoughts. I just need to stop identifying with thoughts and allow the feelings and develop that process so that it becomes easier and easier. And I need to build the spiritual muscle to be able to go through extreme feelings that are coming up without, you know, trying to use a donut or or anything to try and stop the feelings um and and then the miracles could happen so here's the thing is um i'll share some of my experiences so i remember in the early years when i was doing it on a lot of illnesses gout asthma um and my kidney failure which is unending exhaustion um so the um i remember the gout tax they suddenly come like my feet would swell up like a balloon with horrific pain as the skin starts to just inflame up like a balloon uh, it'd be the stretching of the skin and horrific pain uh and i would just go i just put my foot on a pillow and do the field feelings i just um allow the pain not and, and not go into my thoughts and just sort of almost like have an attitude of welcoming it so it could be as extreme as possible without any resistance and not making a label and um it would take me three or four hours and gradually the pain would go from intense excruciating pain in my foot to this kind of um, dull pain and then eventually it would be like a fog and then at the end of four hours I'd be in bliss I'd be just really happy and the pain was gone and then I'd try and walk and then the pain would start to come back but it would totally disappear so as as um, I just allowed it and it would just disappear into nothingness and I did that and the the gout attacks happened less and less often and i was on gout medicine and then after about 
and I was seeing uh, um, the hospital clinics and they were and the counterattacks were getting less often and the clinic appointments were getting further apart and then about but two and a half years later it said I haven't had a gout attack for so long and they said look you can stop your medicine and don't come back for discharging you and that happened with the asthma um it went for a few years but every time there was um an asthma attack I didn't use an inhaler I just felt it out like I can't breathe um and then after a few years they discharged me from the asthma clinic said you've got no problem now the kidney failure uh, the kidney failure took longer. That was a long time of feeling the feelings. But, you know, some of them are different to feel out and some of them are, are easier. Um, but that I didn't answer the question. So feelings. Now, there's different types of feelings. When you've got an acute feeling, um, it's definitely um, a share, like with, with cramps. When I wake up with cramps, if you can catch the cramp right at the beginning as it just starts, and be 100% with it, it disappears in a split second. If you don't catch it right at the beginning and you resist and you think and you go, oh, I don't want this to come, I wish it wasn't here, then um, I get, you know, it, it, be, it becomes much more harder and you have to sort of, you have to be with it for, for a period of time and I go around limping around. So if you can catch an acute, like uh, you, you have hot water on your, let's say, um, I cut myself or put hot water on your on your thing. You just want to develop the ability to be with it nonstop without identifying with thought and let it get extreme. And then it, it'll suddenly start, it'll, within a few minutes, it will disappear. Now, if you let it, if you don't do that, then it could take, you know, weeks and months of just having a horrible burn as it manifests and, and just trying to fill it out slowly. Um, so when there's an opportunity and it's extreme and you can now I recommend if you haven't got much time try and be with the feeling until at least it's getting less if you can so let's say uh, like exhaustion was a big one that took a long time but you know if I'm feeling really exhausted 10 out of 10 exhausted and I sit down and at least it's going down to 9 out of 10 before I stop feeling it uh that 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 that's that i think that's pretty good um and uh, if it but if it if it's an acute thing i would try and sit with it until it passes or it's, at least it's going down if it's one of those things which is unending then i would just um i would try and stay with it as whatever time you can half an hour an hour or whatever it is but it's so there's so much of it that i wouldn't like try and spend the whole day doing it maybe just have like with exhaustion i might do like an hour in the morning every morning uh, and then get on with my day but also with feeling the feelings you learn to allow feelings to carry on while you're doing your day so you, so it's just allowing the exhaustion to be with you through the day but without trying to have resentments or thoughts about it and just allowing it rather than allowing yourself to numb out of the tiredness the whole day and then you kind of like getting on with your day and you're allowing it at the same time but it's, it's better when you're just sitting down and just try not to identify with thoughts and it can you can get into a good zone with just allowing it so um yeah um what whenever you can uh, so there's two practices with very very long feelings that seem to be going on forever is one is just spend some devoted time every day whatever you can half an hour an hour and the other one is uh, developing the capacity and doing the cancellation so that you allow that tiredness to be all, almost like you're going about your day and feeling the feelings at the same time. Now, this is very, there's a distinction between going about your day and numbing out from the tiredness and going about your day and actually doing things and allowing the tiredness to be evaporating off. There, there's a difference. Um, uh, you, you'll be able to recognize the difference uh, as you as you as as you become aware of what i say in this video